Hello my fan pals and welcome back. If you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today we're going to make our own little micro planner and we're going to do it on a budget because you know I am all about using what we have rather than going out and buying something new. So when I looked at the little micro planner things, little micro notebook things, in, they had them in Dollar Tree because I'm not going to pay like the price that Happy Planner wants for them. I'm just not. When they had them in Dollar Tree, they were like 125 for a very small thing. And I was like, I could buy the discs because they have these at Dollar Tree sometimes. They have the discs. I could buy these and then just use what I have and I could make two. So I bought the discs and then promptly did nothing with it. But I thought I would just show and share with you how I'm going to make a little micro planner and how I'm going to use stuff that I already have aside from the discs, which we all have like, th you know, a handful of these laying around, right? Some of us more than a handful, but specifically doing this on a budget. So I'm going to use these from Dollar Tree. Again, there are $1.25. I think you get 10 in the pack. I think there's 10 in the pack, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now, the other thing that you need is clearly a cover. Now, if you do not have anything to cut through, any thick stuff like the cropper dial, you don't need the cropper dial. What you need is these. Now, I've done a video using these before about making them into like a bookmark or a dashboard. Like, I don't know if you can see, these are the little wraps that come around your planner. When you get a planner, like it comes with this bit on the back and this bit on the front and it kind of contains everything together. I've got two here. Now I never throw these away. I never throw these away. I always keep them in my little storage drawer off to the side. So I've got at least six of these bloody things and I was like, let's use these. Now I'm going to think, I'm gonna use this. Now I've also just picked up some paper from my storage, some like old paper. So I've got this, can you see this? I hope you can see it in the glare, but it's just basically the, the wrap thing that goes around your planner because it's already punched. It's already punched. It will already hold the rings, right? It will already hold the rings. So if you just want a little micro planner, something like this, and you just want something to protect, this is fantastic. Use this. I'm gonna take this sticker off because this was clearly a Hobby Lobby purchase. All right, so I have that backer thing off the planner and I have this. This is the st old sticker sheet that I have punched and I cut it to three by four because three by four is the standard micro planner size. And if I'm going to line this up with the punches, I know that roughly there, I can't use this hole because if I want it to be a little bit bigger, I'm going to have to come up here and use these. This is why I like this size. Now you can see here, I'm going to run into an issue because I've got that bit. This is the bit this thing attaches to, to hold the planners on the shelf. So I'm going to actually do mine, I think maybe two and a half by four. I'm going to cut it down a little bit because it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to be cutting down my paper anyway. And I'm just going to be using this little planner as a holder for all of my washi tape samples and my pen samples and stuff like that. It will be a holder for spare pieces of paper. So I've got a little baby planner. And if I wanted to, I could even do it that big. It doesn't matter, right? I can do it as big as I want to. That's one of the beauties of doing your own stuff. So now when I put that on there, that fits perfectly. Nice. So I'm just going to come in. What I'm going to do first is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to cut there. Just so it's easier to use. Just so it's easier to use. I'm just going to do a little line around. So it's just that little bit bigger than that sheet. Hopefully you can see that. So it's just a little bit bigger. Can you see? It's like not even, it's like an eighth of an inch. It's not much. I will get my knifey knife. Now you could do this with scissors. You could do this with scissors. 
I'm going to try and use my craft knife. The problem with using the craft knife is this stuff is quite slick and it does like to move around a bit like it did then. <laughs> like it did then. Let's get some washi tape and hold that down. And then hopefully I can just come in and try and cut this. And here's the thing, even if you just score it and then come over with your scissors afterwards, you can do that. And then the last one is there. Again, I'm just trying to get myself a straight line. Yes. And then I'm going to use this one. Can you even see? This one as the template for the other sheet. And I'm literally just going to come and cut those with the scissors. Again, it doesn't matter that it's not perfect. This is the beauty of making things yourself. It doesn't need to be perfect. But you already have these, so what's the point in throwing them away when you've already got your covers right here? Now I'm going to round my corners. You could cut them. I'm going to use my corner chomper because these corners are brutal otherwise. But I'm going to use my corner chomper. And I will link stuff that I can in the description. Again, if I wanted to, I could have just punched it with a crocodile. But I want to kind of show you that you don't, if you don't have one, you can still make your own covers and just use these suckers. All right, and then we need four discs. One, two, three, four. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see now? And now I've made a little micro planner or a little notebook or something. And you could just fill it with your quotes. You could fill it with anything. I am going to show you how you can use this paper. So this is just old, out of date planners. Again, when I pick them up, I pick them up on sale. So I've got a dashboard and I've got a vertical here. So again, I've got my template. I know that this is two and a half by four. So I just need to cut things two and a half by four. Again, I know it's two and a half. So I'm going to come in here. That's my two and a half come in at four and then I just have to punch. Again, I'm going to use this as my guide because I'm not going to come right up to the edge. I'm just going to use it as my guide. If I wanted to, I could come in and round the corners on these. But then I have my little micro planner to do whatever I want with. So I'm going to go and do a few more pages and I'll be right back. All right, I am finished. I have put some papers in. Again, I just cut them to size on my paper trimmer. Again, two and a half wide by four and a half high. You can make it however big or small that you want to make it. Again, this is just for like washi tapes and stuff like that. But having just flipped through it, here's what I've noticed. And again, I use the dashboard and the vertical. The dashboard is fantastic. Again, this was the Mickey dashboard. Look at that. Perfect. I could use that as a daily page use that as a daily page, bills to pay, calls and emails, to buy, a little shopping list or something, errands, little take note thing. I think this was from a vertical. It just works really well. If you're not bothered about it all matching, I mean, you can move things around and stuff like that. But yeah, if you're not bothered about it all matching, and again, all I'm going to use this for is to come in, write down, And I will probably put a little um, mark on there with a permanent marker or something like that, like A, B, C, D, etc, 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 and I'll go through, or one, and then go through the whole um, pack of pens. But this is a fantastic way because it's already Happy Planner paper, so you know how it's going to set, set, is that the word I'm looking for? Dry on your paper without it being a different color. Because I just had that recently using, I think it was this pen. I'd used it in my planner and it dried a completely different color to what it looks like there. So if you want a little mini planner, a little mini planner or a mini notebook or something like that, and you want to make it on a budget, basically cost me around 50 cents to make because all I paid for was the discs. If you have discs lying about, it will cost you nothing because the cover is from the leftovers from the Happy Planner. When you buy one, it has that plastic stuff on it. I've just cut that down. The paper is from the insides of a happy planner, but you could use any kind of paper on the inside, any note paper, 
stuff like that. We've all got like note paper lying around. Cost me 50 cents to make. Mic drop. All right, I hope that just helps show you how easy it is to make your own little micro planner or micro notebook. Could be a little shopping list notebook, whatever, and you could just throw it in your bag. Hundreds of uses for these little things, but yeah, for me, it's gonna, I'm just gonna put my washi tape in there and my pens. That's what I'm gonna use mine for. Let me know what size you're going to make and what you're going to use it for. Again, all you need are some discs. Dollar Tree sells these. If you can get them, you might even already have discs. One of these little things left over from your planner wrapping, and then just some paper and a punch. Literally 50 cents. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.